Well, hello there, and I do hope you're all well, and I do hope you all had a fantastic weekend too. How is this government? Gaslighting the nation and its base. Why do I ask? Well, after a heavy week of getting round all the cross-party select committee meetings, I did finally manage to get round to watching the full PMQs, and clearly the main topic for the Conservative Party was dinghy spotting. Henderson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Um, when will my right honourable friend government bring forward any emergency legislation that's needed to deport those migrants who came across the channel illegally in small boats and are now being put up in hotels paid for by hard-pressed British taxpayers. Yeah. Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, we are determined to do whatever it takes to break the business model of people smugglers who are causing the needless loss of life of people across the channel and putting unsustainable pressure on our asylum system. Our Nationality and Borders Act, opposed by the party opposite, Mr Speaker, gives us new powers which we fully intend to use and we will take further measures as required to properly control our borders and reduce the number of illegal crossings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clearly Gordon Henderson didn't watch the Home Affairs Select Committee car crash with our leaky zoo then when fellow Tory MP Tim Loughton stitched her up and got her to admit this. I'm not uh, Afghan, I'm not uh, Ukrainian, not any of those specific <coughs> schemes. The Dub scheme uh, is historic. What scheme's open to me? Well, if you are able to get to the UK, you are able to put in an application for asylum. But I would only enter the UK illegally then, wouldn't I? Well, that, that would, if you put in your application for asylum uh, upon arrival, that would... Uh, be the, the process that you enter. How could I arrive in the UK if I didn't have permission to get onto an aircraft legally to arrive in the UK? Uh, let me just invite other colleagues if there's anything they want to add. I mean, you, you, you could engage with UNHCR. I mean, depending on which country you're from, you could engage with UNHCR, and that would be a way of of uh, of, um, of, uh, of <coughs> getting um, leave to enter the UK in order to put in an asylum claim. But I accept that there are some countries where that would not be possible. I think the point is that. There's a shortage of safe and legal routes other than for specific groups of people that we have generously offered safe haven um, to. But let me come on. So yes, Gordon Henderson, there's nothing illegal about rocking up in a dinghy and claiming asylum, as you well know. And the reason why I'm thinking about this, because later on in PMQs, Paul Bristow, Conservative MP for Peterborough, brought up the situation about people coming here in a dinghy and staying in hotels as a national emergency. Whatever he means by that, God knows. I'm not going to tr get work out the ins and outs of a Tory mind. But that clip of our leaky so admitting the truth for me should be played here and there and everywhere in the media. But we know for a fact it won't be. But anyway, what do you guys think? Let me know, let me know in comments below. And um, I shall bid you farewell and um, take care.